noise outside my trailer, and I opened my door, um, not to tell people to be quiet. I had to go talk to somebody about my contract. And he said, oh, are we making too much noise? I said, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm trying to go over to do something here. And I said, anyway, congratulations on your long run. He said, well, I've got to tell you, we know that we're lucky. We know how lucky we are. Uh-huh. And, and uh, he's welcome and blah, blah, blah. And I told him I played a nymphomaniac on all my children. And I would be making the pass to him <laughs> you know, during the thing. And he was laughing. And But everybody on the show, Sandra O, oh, everybody has been so nice. All was so nice to me. That's so, uh, that's so feel, good to hear. I mean, it makes it so much nicer to go into work, you know? That's right. You and want a friendly place to come into. Yes, exactly. And when you do three weeks, you kind of know the guy at the gate. I asked him about his family by the third week. I knew about his children. You know, we I kind of knew everybody, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was it was a hard goodbye because um, I got a real taste of what it's like to be a primetime series regular, and it's really nice. Yeah. Well, hopefully then uh, you'll get a You sound like you're just keeping busy all the time, and that's so good that's to know. know. That's good well, to know. Well, I've got to tell you. It, it, me. I'm sorry, David. What did you say? It, it's good to know David? because you're not just sitting pretty and and uh, you're always active and on the go and you have things going on in your life. It's nice well, to I hear. Well, I have to tell you that, it, that after my husband passed away, I had kind of had to reinvent my life. So I got out of New York because the, there were too many ghosts, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Every mm-hmm. corner had a memory. and. Right. Uh, I just thought, I can't be here. So I kind of have jump-started my career. I got into some classes. I couldn't get arrested. I couldn't get an agent. So this didn't happen overnight. Um, I worked really hard for the last two and a half, almost three years, to get my the right agents. And I have a wonderful manager. And uh, and really make it work. And I really think if you, you know, if you hang in there and keep putting yourself out there, eventually it will work. Right, and then one job leads to another, as you can see. Well, exactly. And when I talked to the director about the film, The Concerto, he said, by the way, my next film, you're right for my next movie. You're going to play a a comedy character who has Alzheimer's. I said, great. You know, so it's like, you know, so, yes, jobs lead to jobs. People get to know you, and they call you in for other things they're casting, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's how it works. Well, we're getting a lot of Jennifer Bassey coming up. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> yes, I am too. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so glad we got to hooked up. I thought yeah. we were going to have to cancel. <laughs> oh, I know. I was so worried about that myself because I really wanted to speak with you. Um, well, you know, I'm, is there, I'm is glad there anything? did. And the next episode is really juicy. It's really these these of uh, this writing is very heart wrenching. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, even as a fan for us to sit there or a viewer to sit there and watch it, I mean, you guys make us cry all the time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) When I turned in, for another plug for Grey's Anatomy, when I got the job, I turned on Grey's Anatomy, and I'd never watch it because I said, hey, I don't watch a lot of television. Not because I'm anti-Grey's Anatomy, I just just don't. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of a voracious reader, Mm -hmm. and... um, so I turned it on, and uh, this was the storyline. My dar- I, darling, there were tears pouring down my face, pouring wow. down my face. This young man, like in his 30s, has a scene with his mother, and he, she said, please don't do this. He said, Mother, I've made up my mind. I'm going to do it. She said, please, please don't do it. He said, it's done. It's already done. Please accept what I'm doing. And as they're talking... And the father is there, too. A nurse comes in, and she said, one of your kidneys is going to a five-year-old girl. The other kidney is going to a woman in San Francisco. Your liver is going to blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, oh, my God. So he says goodbye to his family. They give him an injection, and they come in and get all his body parts. Talk about a cheerjerker, darling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are always so hard to watch, you know, but you do know that a lot of these storylines are are based on real life, and that's what makes it even harder to watch. Exactly, because what, this what our hospital is about, life and death, mm-hmm. that's it. Right, 
Right. I mean, they, they like to bring you to cheers, and they do. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. And a lot of times, too, it's happy tears, too, you know, because it's a happy ending. <laughs> so, well, for me, anyhow, mm-hmm. I cry, I'm a crier for that part, you know, happy or sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as, look, as long as you are impacted, if you are impacted and you have a reaction to what you are watching, then whatever you're watching is good. Right, right. If and you're you feeling did your neutral, job. Yeah, if you're feeling neutral, it's not good. No, Mm-mm. no, I have Good. to agree have, with you there. Things have to impact you, and once they, once you're impacted and involved and moved by it, that's good. That's good program. Good programming. Most definitely. Well, I have yeah. one last question for you before we let you go take your nap and get ready for Italy, which I'm jealous of. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to do that you haven't done yet, or work with someone you haven't worked with yet? Well, the person I always wanted to work with has been dead for a long time. Maybe I'll meet him up in the great, you know, next, the other room I call when you die. Mm-hmm. You're going to the other room. I always have wanted to work with Laurence Olivier. Oh, And yeah. uh, we're going to get that chance. Is there something I haven't done? Well, I've never won an Academy Award. Okay, there you go. There you go. That would be a cool thing to do. There you go. We're going to work on that. I wouldn't mind winning an Academy <laughs> Award. Let's put it that way. Right. <laughs> or even an Emmy. <laughs> I was well, nominated I, and I lost. I was. Yeah. I lost. It's nothing fun about losing, girl. But at least you were nominated. There's a lot of people that aren't, so that's a good thing. That's right. Yeah, you can put yeah. that on your resume. Any nominated person. That's right. <laughs> Well, Jennifer, we want to we want to thank you so much for joining us today. I thoroughly enjoyed speaking with you, and I will keep touch with you on Twitter um, and let you know when I get to watch these other scenes on Grey's and all of your upcoming movies. Thank you, Diane. Where are you yes. guys located? I am in Chicago, and David is in New York. Yeah, I'm in Chicago upstate New York. Chicago is my hometown, and New York is my second hometown. That's right. We're, fe- we're fellow well, Chicagoans. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Chicago has um, become one of the most beautiful cities in the entire world. Oh. I don't get out to see it very much, but that's because I live here, you know, and the people come in from out of town and they discuss what they've seen and what they've done. I think, well, gosh, why haven't I done that yet? Well, you've taken the boat tour of the, of, of the, the river, haven't you? No, I can't. I get seasick. Pam, no, I'm shocked. <laughs> You've got to do me a favor. You've got to do me a favor. You have got to promise me, because I've got to tell you, when I was growing my uncle drowned in that river in 1906. Aww. And um, that river was contaminated and full of just it, horrors. And all the buildings were factories, sh- you know, shutting off things into the river and making it more and more polluted and killing everything in it. And Mayor Daly, all, not the current, but the old Mayor Daly, right. decided to clean up that river. And they changed all the factories into condominiums. And you take a boat around that. It is so dramatically beautiful, it takes your breath away. You're going to want to live down there. Uh, well, maybe I'll get some Dramamine and, and do that one day with the kids. That would be a nice uh, little family okay, thing. Okay, I can get sick, and i looking at boats, so you can do it. I've got to take this call. Love to you okay. both. Oh, thank love you, to you as well, Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining us. Take Have care. a great trip. Have a safe trip. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> I just love talking with her. Oh, my gosh. I could oh talk all gosh. day. <laughs> yeah. I can listen all day, too. You're right. I'm... Well, that, too. Yeah. <laughs> More like listening, because she has so many great stories. I mean, can you imagine that all the things that she's done and all the people she's met and all the places she's been and and still going and still going? Yes. It's wonderful. Well, to all of our listeners, yes, (laughs) to all of our listeners, please follow Jennifer on Twitter at Jennifer Bassey with the number one next to it, so that way uh, you get the right one. And give her a shout-out. Let her know if you watched her on Grey's Anatomy or another show or another movie or something that she's got coming up, or just stop by to say hello to her. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. 
And, David, thank you so much for joining me today. We had a lot of fun getting this together, but <laughs> thank yes, God it I finally know. came through. <laughs> I know. it. Oh, I had a lot of fun tonight, and I look forward to more with you. Thank you. And everybody, make sure you follow us at Take Two Radio and Take Two Radio Crew. Everyone have a good night, and God bless. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody.